I am Vahid Razavi with BizCloud. Today is a special occasion. I get a chance to celebrate the 20-year anniversary of a great company, Exodus Communication, a company that I had a chance and privilege to work for when I started my career in the 1990s. And now I'm sitting next to the co-founder of Exodus Communications, BV Jagadish. BV, what you started 20 years ago was incredible. What is it like looking back at it 20 years later it's 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 an amazing amazing experience because all the things we did at Exodus right is like laying the foundation for all these future technologies and, and future trends that are happening today it's things that we did back in in uh, 90s mid 90s to late 90s at Exodus communication so think of you know all the things that you laid as a foundation it's like turning that into uh, uh, the next generation of babies, right? It's an amazing feeling. So, you know, you were one of the most disruptive technology providers at the time. The process of taking servers, something that was so precious, such hardware that was so expensive, and trusting it in an external data center was a novelty. It was disruptive to the way IT was done. Now, what do you see that's being disruptive again in the way that, A, you marketed that, and how that's being done again today in the tech sector? Well, it's the same concept, but you're looking in a different way because now, you know, the, 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 the whole outsourcing or the co-location model where we brought the customer servers into Exodus, today, you don't even need to buy the servers, right? It's all available in this cloud, which you don't even get to see, and somehow, magically, you take whatever applications you have, right, you develop it, and instantly you can just turn it up on any of the cloud servers. I mean, I think that's really, really disruptive because it makes life so much easier for the application developer. It makes life easier for all the operations guys. And the app developer, he now controls his own destiny. He doesn't need to now worry about you know, asking the networking guy to give him IP address or the security guy to open up a firewall, right? I don't need to worry about any of that. I develop my application, boom. The next thing, it's sitting on AWS or it's sitting on any of the cloud service providers. I think that is the first step of the biggest disrupt, next generation disruption that's expected to happen. I see. Now, there's one thing that's happened in the cloud space, and that's the adoption. I mean, back in the 1990s and the late 90s, we had ASP.NET and applications on demand. Cloud computing and virtualizations have been around since 2003 and 2004. But really, the adoption of it by mainstream is something that's recent. What do you attribute that to? What is that jump in? It's, it's, it's the ease of use, the ease of deployment, and dramatically reducing your cost of operations and cost of the deployment cycle. So everything is moving at lightning speed today, right? So if I can develop an application and if I can turn around, test that application within minutes, right, after I'm done compiling or, or generating the object code, man, I mean, that's a huge boon to any application developer. You'd never had that flexibility. You develop the application, you got to wait for 30 days, 45 days, right? Think of, you know, in the olden days when people used to program using the mainframe computers. What used to happen, right? I mean, I've done that myself. You write the code, and then you have to wait for your slot as to when you uh, can feed your program into the mainframe computer to do the compilation. And it does the compilation, it spits out hundreds of compiler errors, then you need another one, one and a half hours to fix that compiler error, and then again you have to wait in the line. All day is gone, all day is gone, right, where all that you have done is wrote a, a few lines of code and then feed that into the computer to get just the compiler error out. Today, I can do that in split second. 
Right. So in, if, the, if it's so easy to deploy and if it's so easy to put apps out there, what is the advice that you would have for these new generation of entrepreneurs that are building software, that want to build the next cloud infrastructure, that are looking to build the next SaaS products? What is becomes the competitive edge if it's not timing and the time it takes to build? What is the advice that you would want to ingrain in them for, that would apply into this cloud market of today? Three things, three things. Don't forget the ease of use, right? Today's world will not like if you make the usability complex. The, the use, use of anything has to be as easy. Just click a button, right? That's number one. Number two, just because it's sitting in the cloud, don't compromise anything on security. Nothing. It has to run as if like it's running inside my, inside my own data center, right? Third is performance. Just because it runs on the cloud, don't mess around, screw the performance aspect of it, right? So while giving the best usability, while giving the best security, right, you got to provide the best performance. I think those three, if entrepreneurs think of what they can do, from all of these installation, manageability, and, and deployment, and time to market, right? All of whatever the market wants, if somebody can provide these kind of tools, man, I, t I can tell you, I'll fund the, that next billion dollar company. Right. Well, you know what's changed really from the time of the sales of uh, a software that was deployed on site was that customers would buy the software and then they were responsible for its deployment and its success. The elements you talked about, the, the, the security, the, the ease of use, it all revolves around adoption and it all revolves around customer success and retention, which is the new paradigm that BizCloud and our marketing agency really is focused on on addressing because we view retention of customers and adoption of the cloud within the enterprise to be more important than winning a logo of saying XYZ bought two seats and they use our product. So that's what our business model is based on and I'm really glad that I had a chance to ask for that advice because I think we're really implementing it in our business and that excites me. Way to go man, Wahid, you are the best salesman that we ever had at Exodus. And I'm always excited to meet you, and I'm always excited to work with you. Same here, Jagadish. The feeling is mutual. You got a party to run to. Everybody is here. This is the founder's party. Yes. We had the chance to sit down with BB Jagadish. Please, if you get a few minutes later on, join us again. I want to hear all about the philanthropy and all the great work you're doing. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks again. Thank you.